Hello everyone, uh, Sarah's dad here. So let's continue our adventure with Ron Marco and the Django Adventure game. So as before you can start with opening the Ron Marco game. And last time I picked Sofia, so today I'm gonna use Marco as my character. And let's go to the Jungle Trouble game. So I kind of backtracked a little bit and I wanted to review what we learned last time. So last time we learned all the motion commands. Step forward, turn left, turn right and jump forward. And this is the last lesson that we did together. So let's just review what we need to do. So, and remember to always do it piece by piece. So we need to do one step and then jump over this rock. So let's jump over that rock. And then perhaps do one more step. And turn left. Let's see if that works. And we did it last time, so hopefully you, you all can do it again. So we got to the corner and now we need to get across the water. So let's look at the commands again. So I need to make one step forward. And then jump over the missing bridge. So let's jump. So that will bring us here and then let's make two more steps. And see where we get. Again try it. Jump, turn, hop. One, two, perfect. So we need, we still have a little further to go. So let's add some more commands. So now we need to turn right. So let's turn right and then make one step forward and jump over the bush. So right now jump over the bush and that ma then make one more step forward. And that should bring us all the way to the end. Okay, jump, turn, jump again, and one more step. Perfect. Okay, so let's move on and let's learn the iteration statements, or we sometimes call them repeat, repeat statements or loops, or anything is fine. So, so we need to add a new command sheet. So let's do that, and to the sheet, so this stands for the iteration commands and we just added one command and it's the repeat command. And then, you know, the, we have a suggestion to drag the step forward. Okay, so now uh, the game is no longer telling us what to do, so let's figure out what we need to do. So Marco needs to get all the way to the yellow tile. So how many steps is that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can either drag step forward here eight times, or instead of that, we could say, well, why don't you repeat the steps, but repeat eight times. So this really says repeat eight times steps for step forward, or in other words, make eight steps. So let me take this away because we don't need this anymore. So if you want to change how many times, how many, how many times you want to repeat the command or the set of commands, you just click on this little number here and it gives you a choice of any number between two and nine. So we picked eight already once. So, okay, so let's see if that works. Perfect. So we stepped eight times and got all the way to the yellow tile and got all three stars. Let's take a look at the next one. So here, just kind of similar thing. So what do we need to do? We need to make one, two, three, four, five, six steps forward until this corner. Okay, so let's do that. So actually, I'll drag the repeat command here. And I said we need six steps, so let's make change two into six. And then I'll grab the step forward and insert it inside the repeat statement. Okay, and let's run it and see if we make it all the way to the corner. Perfect. So we got all the way to the corner, but obviously we need to get all the way to the yellow tile. So what is, what is it that we need to do next? So we have to first turn, right? So let's turn left. 
and now again we need to make a few steps so how many one two three four five six seven okay so let's drag another repeat statement here and change this to seven and put, because we want to step forward seven times so we in other words make seven steps let's drag the step forward there and let's see if we got it right so all the way to the corner and then seven more steps all the way to the yellow tile perfect okay uh, okay so still kind of similar just a little more complicated so let's see so we need to first make one two three four five six seven eight nine steps imagine dragging step forward here nine times that would be kind of a waste of time and it, the programming would get boring quickly right so to save and and that's just nine steps imagine if it's hundred steps your wrist would probably start hurting so let's see so we need to make how many nine steps I said right so we say repeat nine times step forward and that should bring us bring us all the way to this corner then we need to turn turn right so let's drag that here and then one, um, after we turn right we need to make one two three four more steps so let's do that so again repeat four times and step forward Okay, and let's make sure that we get, we want to get all the way to this corner, right? So let's double check. That's nine steps, turn, one, two, three, four, perfect. Right, and so now we still need to turn one more time, and let's turn right. And then, again, we need to repeat a bunch of steps, so drag the repeat statement and how many one two three four five six so let's change two to six because we need to make six steps and drag the step forward there and when we are here we facing down but we need to face to the right so we make a left turn right so let's make a left turn and then again we need to repeat a few more steps how many one two three four five so let's say repeat five times and repeat what repeat step forward perfect uh, let's see how this worked owner we know this is good now turn on two three four five six one two three four five perfect so we got all the way to the yellow tile, got all three stars. So now, until now, we were putting just one command inside the bracket for the repeat loop or for the loop statement. So, but from now on, we can we actually start making things a little more interesting. We're gonna put more than one command in there. So let's take a look at the other challenge. Okay. So, okay, let's just follow the, let's just follow the finger. They say, okay, drag the repeat statement, uh, step forward. Okay, and we are done with their suggestions. Awesome. So, let's forget about this repeat for a while, and let's take a look what do we, what do we need to do. So, we need to step forward, right? I have that already. And then we need to turn left and then step forward again and turn right and then step forward again so that'll give, get us here at the end of the red tile so let's see if that worked Okay, so we got here, but we all we need to get all the way to the yellow tile. So let's see. So what do we need to do? Uh, we need to 
um, I'll keep it separately on purpose because these these ones are red tiles. Now we're stepping on green tiles. So okay, so we need to step forward here, right? Then turn left, and then step forward again. Then turn right, and then step one more time to get to the yellow tile. Let me actually not put it there. So let's just make sure that we get all the way there where I was saying we would. Okay, so we needed one more step. Okay. So, okay. So we needed one more step forward to get us all the way to the end. But now look at this set of commands. We have forward, left, forward, right, forward. And here we have forward, left, forward, right, forward. So it's actually the same thing. So instead of putting everything here twice, we can instead track all this into the repeat loop and say, wait a second, instead of doing this and then the same thing really again, why don't you just do this whole thing twice? So let me put this in the recycle bin. And now we have the version that we actually need or want. We go through all the red tiles. That's the f that's the first repeat loop, and then when we go through the through the second time, we go through all the green tiles. So let's try it. Let, let's see if this works. We do the red tiles now. The green tiles, perfect. Okay, so that was really nice. So let's go and kind of do pretty much the same thing just more times and slightly different pattern so again see the tiles are color coded these ones are red these ones are green these ones are red these ones are kind of green again right and what is the pattern that we need to do so okay I need to step forward right to get to the red tile then turn left and then do two more steps forward. One, two, okay. And then make a right turn and make one more step forward. So let's see if this works. That brought me all the way to the, the end, to the last red tile. And if you look now, if I just repeat, step forward, turn left, essentially it's the same pattern, right? step forward, tur turn left, make two steps, turn right, make one step, and here the same thing, same thing, same thing. So we really, what do we need to do? We need to do this pattern four times, right? There is one set of tiles, another set, another set, and another set. Okay, so let's drag this into the repeat loop and change to, okay, let's see, let's just change it to three and see what happens. Right, so we do the red tiles, now the green tiles, now the red tiles, and we're almost there, just need to do it one more time. So change this to four, and play it again. So green, now red again, and now green. Perfect. Okay, so this was really you know, this is kind of getting advanced a little bit. We getting multiple statements in inside the repeat loop. We repeating them, but hopefully you understand. Please go back, try everything on your own. Uh, you can actually open private version of your browser so that you have to redo all the lessons. If you want to just do the lessons over, you can click you can click this replay button. If you want to do some other lessons, you can click on the map and go to other other lessons. Uh, so, unfortunately, if you if you go through the map, the code stays there, right? So I can just uh, run it, and it gets all the way to the tile. But if you hit the if you hit the replay button, uh, you will essentially start the whole lesson or the whole level from scratch okay so this was all for today thank you for 
you know being here with us and I'll see you in the next lesson or next level